Hello friends and welcome back to another video. Today's video is very exciting. It's going to be my 2022 fountain pens of the year and I'm really excited to show you all the fountain pens that I bought this year and some of my favorites. If you love stationary journaling content, planner content, fountain pen stationary content, please uh, feel free to subscribe if you haven't already and I hope you enjoy the video. All right, so another disclaimer, I am a fountain pen beginner. So I am in no means an expert or know anything really much about fountain pens. A lot of this is just from learning from the community and going to pen shows and things like that. So last year I dived deep into the rabbit hole of fountain pens and I purchased a bunch of fountain pens. I attended my very first pen show at San Francisco. Um, I bought a bunch of inks and sample ink samples and things like that. So this year was no different. I definitely uh, kept going into the rabbit hole and even learned a lot of new uh, things about my fountain pens and inks. So yeah. So this year I did purchase six new fountain pens, so I'm really excited to show you the ones that I got. Uh, I really hope to do more fountain pen content for you all this year as well, or this coming year, um, including ink swatches, maybe uh, currently inked, make it like a monthly or quarterly thing because I'm constantly trying new inks and new pens and things like that. Um, so let me know any ideas or video suggestions that you might have for fountain pen content. All right, so let's get started. So my two first fountain pens I'm going to talk about are my Twisbees and they are both green and you can probably tell that I am definitely gravitated towards the color green. Um, so this is the Twisby Eco um, in the color Jade and I think this released I want to say the beginning of this year because that's I think that's when I bought it like during the really big hype um, for this pen for the jade pen um, or maybe it was last year I'm not I don't quite remember um, but anyway so I did get this in an EF and it was my first time getting um, Twisby EF I have a Twisby Eco in the fine nib so I was really excited to try out EF so I'll do a quick writing sample just so you can see kind of the EF. This is Twisby Eco EF. So it's definitely very fine. I think it would compare to like a 0.4, a 0.3 or 0.4 um, gel pen size. So um, yeah. So the other Twisby is the Eco as well. And it is the glow in the dark pen. And this was also super, super um, trending the beginning of this year. And I have, yes, it glows in the dark. And I will try to show a photo here of what it looks like glowing in the dark. So I think that's really, really cool. Um, I actually picked this up at the San Francisco Pen Show this year. And this one is in the stub, uh, stub nib. So this was my first stub nib and I knew I wanted to try something more fun and experimental as far as nib, go, nib sizes go uh, for such a cool pen. So I do already have it filled right now with this ink. This is the Diatrementis Heliogen, Heliogen Green. Um, and as you can see, this is kind of a writing sample. So very cool indeed for a very cool pen. All right, so moving on to my next pen, it is this Lamy Cream pen. Um, it's the Lamy Safari, and it's this cream matte pen body. This I picked up in Vancouver, actually, at Paper Yaw, and it had just come out. Uh, the, the, it was the red and cream um, Lamy collection, like the, those, those two pens just came out. Um, and I was in happened to be in Vancouver at the time in the spring. So I of course decided to pick one up um, I got this one in the medium nib And currently it is inked with the Ferris wheel press oyster Hour so here is kind of how it writes in a medium nib So I definitely love that I thought it was I thought this ink would match um, this body really nicely just kind of like a brown tone or like a coffee kind of creamy kind of um, vibe so I just I also just absolutely love that the body is kind of a matte texture 
Oh yes, um, the duo, it was the strawberries and cream duo or like special collection. So that is why it's a red and cream. All right, so my next fountain pen is this one and it is the Pilot Kakuno. And actually this fountain pen has been on my list for ever since the, when I first discovered fountain pens, this has always been on my list because this was described as a very beginner friendly, affordable fountain pen. And it is true. I got this pen for $10 on Amazon and I know you can get it for like basically under 20 and most places so yeah i got mine in the transparent body as you can see it's completely transparent but it does come in many really fun colors i think a really fun thing about this nib is it has a little like face on it so i got the nib as you can also see it's ef and let's do a little bit of a writing sample so ef is super super crazy super fine so it's it's honestly like even more fine than the EF Twisby as you can see. And it's just, it's so nice if you have really tiny writing or you like to write small or you like to write um, really within the grid lines and stuff like that, this is the perfect fountain pen for you. I have not tried the other nib sizes, but I definitely want to grab myself um, one in every single nib size, especially because it's so affordable. The current ink I have in this right now is the Pilot um, Tsukushi, so it's a really nice brown. Um, and again, the EF is just so perfect for writing really, really small. I have been using this a lot just because it is so nice to write in Tomoe River paper and in, within the grid lines like of Hobonichi, so I'm a big fan of this. And again, it is very beginner friendly for a fountain pen. Another thing I want to mention is that it does come in many fun colors and limited editions. So definitely grab yourself one of these if you like to collect really cute colors. I think the downside about this is there is no pen clip. Um, the other ones that I showed do have like a clip, which is really convenient and nice. This one does not. All right. So again, speaking of fine, super, super fine nibs, this is another really fine nib fountain pen and that is the Franklin Kristoff fountain pen. This one in particular is the Franklin Kristoff 45 and it is the pocket size so it's I think it's a pocket 45 and it is in antique glass I believe is the name of the body. I had gotten this from the San Francisco pen show again so this is definitely very uh, meaningful to me for a pen and I got it in needle needle point so that's again why i mentioned that it is super super fine um so let's go ahead and look again so as you can see it does really compare well to the pilot kakuno extra fine um but it writes so smooth um i think because partially because i got it tuned and customized and just the whole experience of getting this pen was amazing i do i think i do have a twitch stream highlight talking about my experience about this pen but i, I could talk about it more um, if you would be interested but this is just it's so nice um i think the ink in here right now is wearing gold 13 children um so it's a nice like dark uh blue like a kind of a blue green um but it writes so nicely and again i'm a big fan also i'm a big fan of the size it is a pocket size, so if you compare it to like the Twisby, it's like the perfect size just for on the go. All right, so I saved the best for last, and I believe this is my like holy grail, absolute most favorite fountain pen that I currently own, and it is this one right here. And this is the Sailor Pro Gear Slim fountain pen in the color Dragon Palace. This has been, again, on my wish list fountain pen wish list for over a year and I finally got it um just a few months ago actually so as you can see it is these this really pretty has like some fine glitter in it this is my favorite uh, my very first pro gear slim sailor pro gear slim pen fountain pen um and I think the nib is a 14 karat gold nib this one is in mf um so yeah I had this color is just so me if you know me i love my greens but i particularly love my mint greens so when i saw dragon palace it's kind of like a, a jade mint minty kind of green but i just fell in love with this with the gold um the gold detailing as well i fell in love with this when i first saw it but that price tag i did not fall in love with that especially when i was first starting out with fountain pens i just couldn't justify 
purchasing a pricier pen um so i did get a really good deal and found this one for under i want to say it was under 100 actually which is pretty rare for a pen like this um so that's kind of why i just decided to just get it um i was also still writing on the sf pen show high at the time so that's kind of why i chose to get this one so i will just do a quick writing sample i definitely want to get this tuned i think it's just a little bit um just a little bit feedback heavy for me um so I really want to kind of have it exactly to my liking, but there are days where I absolutely am in love with I mean, I, I love this pen every day, but there are some days that I love it more than others. Um, so I definitely want to get it exactly tuned and like get a nib grind to something that I exactly um, what I will love, absolutely love using every single day. But it's, it's a gorgeous pen and I'm so happy to have this in my collection. All right, so that sums up all of my fountain pens for this year, 2022. I would say it's a pretty good addition and pretty good variety um, of the fountain pens and added to my collection. I am really excited to buy more and, you know, just play with these a lot more as well. Uh, so yeah, I really hope to keep doing fount fountain pen videos. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And let me know down in the comments below, what were some of your favorite fountain pens that you purchased this year? Uh, I would love to hear and see suggestions from all of you. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.